Welcome back. We're getting close to the end here. In this video, we're going to set durations for each image or video and then add titles. So I decided that this image here needs to be a little bit shorter, the duration of the image. If I double click on it, double click, I get a menu here of video tools under edit where I can select a duration. The default is seven seconds. I'm going to shave it down to five. And when I do that, did you see the audio move? Now this is an important button, undo. Okay, undo is going to save you. Here's where Movie Maker gets a little quirky. So what you want to do is to slide this audio away from that, that image, then set your duration, all right, and then slide that, video, that audio right back where you want it. You're going to spend some time to adjust the duration of each of your images. I would start in the very beginning and work your way through. Video, this is a video clip here, and it works a little bit differently. There's something called a trim tool. So if I double click on the video, I'm in the edit area for that video. And then look, there's a button that says trim tool. And now the trim tool has two barriers sort of in the on left and right. And I can drag the barrier to start where I want it to start and drag the other one where I want it to end. So I kind of manipulate this to figure out exactly where I want it to go. And when I'm done, almost got it. That's what I want. And then at the very top, it says save trim. And I hit that and there we go. So the trim was saved. Again, I'm going to go through all of my pictures starting from the top and, and all the way through to the end, adjusting to make sure that my audio matches right up with what I want to say in the pictures. Next, next up is titling, adding titles. So click on your home and there's a button right here that says title. So you can just add a title right to the very beginning of your slide and it automatically puts, puts it on a black and white background. Um, and you can just type right in there. Now you notice if I select the text and I try to change the font, it changes everything. So it doesn't give you the greatest customized title, but it, it works. When, when you're in this title area, take a look at the top here, we can change all these different things. But here's a kind of a cool thing where you can, you can change the way the titles move in and out. And again, be careful on what you choose. Uh, some of these are really fancy and may not fit with what the story you're trying to tell. So this zoom in one is pretty standard, but you know, we can change the time, we can change the duration, we can change the font, we can change the font size, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And uh, you know, you can kind of play around with this to see just how you want it to look. Now I'm going to jump into my project folder and a little while ago I was in PowerPoint and I was making some titles in PowerPoint. Now this will give you the customization of exactly how you want your titles to be presented and the color in which you want them. I even made a work cited list of all the pictures that I used that weren't my own. So I did that all in PowerPoint. When you're ready to get these into Movie Maker, go to the file, go to Save As, and now we're going to click on Computer here and we're going to find our project folder our images folder and then we're going to save type as and now we got to find the type to be jpeg jpeg j-p-e-g there it is so if i click this and i hit save it's going to give me a couple little warnings one is um do you want to do all the slides sure why not and now it's telling me it created a folder go you can go and check it out but instead of doing that i'm just going to minimize my powerpoint right here and go to just go to Movie Maker and I can start uploading these pictures into the, just like I did before. I click on the home, add photo, and now let me drag this over so we can see it. Now here's the folder that I created. It's in my images folder. There's my folder created. And there's those slides from that slideshow. And I double click that and I can move this right to the beginning. I have my first picture right there. All right, I added all my pictures and I'm going to add, just take a quick look at in my folder here, I have a just a black slide, and there's a reason why I did that. So I'm going to add that right at the end, and now I'm going to put a transition at the end. Where is that? Under Animations, I'm going to find the crossfade. Crossfade, there it is. Oh, I just passed it. We have to go back up. So now I'm adding a crossfade at the end so that at the very end of my slide, we fade to black. And that just adds a nice little touch for just a professional touch to the end of your video because you want it to go to black so we know that it's over. That's it for this movie. We'll be back with background music and our final step, exporting the movie.